Hey YouTube, what's going on? A Aaron here for the 18th time. Uh, and this is going to be the final time. This is going to be my final take. <laughs> no matter how this game turns out, and I keep saying that, this is going to be the one that makes it on YouTube. Uh, unless the stream is obviously just not good. Uh, in which case, I will uh, be breaking multiple things in my house. Controller, headset, a window. You name it. Multiple glasses. I don't own that many glasses. Plastic cup guy. We're going to get the a first look at the Ranger here, and that's what I'm going to title this first look. I have so many points and videos to make about these carriers at this tier, especially. Uh, they, they're incredibly underpowered. I've played about 10 games so far, and granted, I may need to get the hang of things, and it's primarily bot lobbies, but... Uh, yikes, I've just been incredibly underimpressed. And I, I was a guy who didn't want carriers, so if that, if that, uh, if I'm saying they're underpowered, then yeah, they're pretty bad. As you see, we, we definitely should have pre-dropped two of our torpedo planes and sent them back to, back to the ship. Yeah. And then we have the smartest AI ever conceived. Let's go ahead and drop there. That should lead them right into two. And we're not going to get another drop off. We may be on this southern dragon. But as you can see, even Destroyer AA just absolutely rips you apart. They're going to have a strong push on the, the opposite side. Another thing is there's no waypoints, so either you back up or you go forward. Um, and right now I went ahead at half speed and I'm almost in my detectability. Um, now granted we're running a Type 3 camo because I think it looks cooler. But that on top of Team's lemon, Lemming training, uh, as well as just not really playing the objective at, at all as our team gets two caps. <laughs> um, but, yeah, this playlist is an absolute disaster. I want to... I, I really liked it at Tier 3. I think they did a good job. I heard a lot of people complaining. Um, but now it's my turn to complain. Uh, I, I just don't think this is a great representation of what games will be, and if it is, then I'm not going to be playing this game that much longer, um, to be completely honest, because this is a nightmare. That being said, I think carries are fun to play. I don't think they're overpowered in any right. Now the bombs do a lot more at this tier, especially with the Americans as per history. Let's get a nice little late drop. Slow down just a bit, get nice and low. And dispersion, we, we dropped a second, one. The, the back drop was, was not too good, but yeah. Now he should put that fire out, we should get one more drop potentially. I've also noticed the AI are a lot more I than A uh, at this tier, which is shocking. Go ahead and slow down, get nice and low as we lose all but one bomber. And a hit with no fire. Nice. So besides setting, uh, you know, lack of setting waypoints and incredibly strong AA, um, there's no... There's no, like, additional team play mechanics for carriers, really because of the games, the way they are they are set up with this AI. Uh, like, right now we're detected, and I'm still what I consider to be in the very back, as our team has let our entire right side collapse. Now, that being said, it is an AI, so I don't think he's going to specifically target me, but I've been carrier hunted multiple times by many different... Uh, maybe a little late. That should arm. If not, I'm going to be rather upset. Hopefully it gets a flood, because we aimed a... Or the bow. There we go. That's how you're gonna... Let's just go ahead and return them, because we're gonna lose them if not. That's how you get floods, ladies and gentlemen. Is, uh... As all of our damage is gonna get soaked up by, uh... Yeah. It is to get to get floods with the torpedo planes, uh, you have to aim for the, the bow and the stern. Um, where there is no torpedo protection or hit a cruiser, which is a lot more difficult. Or hit a destroyer, which is nearly impossible. I think I've hit a destroyer once, and that's because he beached himself. And another fun thing about this game, this part, um, is that. I'm not sure who writes the the uh, the code, but I think the first line of code they written was R A M <laughs> in the bot code. I think that's the first line. Now, let's come from behind, as I like to do. 
And he's actually playing it kind of smart. Let's go ahead and drop here. Now this is, obviously you don't want to drop at these angles as the dispersion shits the bed. That was pathetic. Probably gonna lose. Yeah. Yeah. Attacking a carrier is like, uh, yeah, well. This is probably one of my best games so far, and this is, if this is how it's gonna be, this is, oof. I don't mind carriers not being, you know, that much of an impact, but they are no impact at all, besides potentially spotting. Despite what many Facebook personalities have to say. <laughs> uh, casual shout out for all my friends who know what I'm talking about there. And again, I'm having to maneuver instead of place waypoints, but eesh, what can you do? Now everyone's favorite pastime, with nine minutes left in the game, is chase a carrier backing up to the very edge of the map to do little to no damage with your friendly planes. Let's go ahead and drop. Let's drop on the island. Let's remodel this island. Right there. Again, the reason we're doing that is now we have two planes going back to our ship, so we're not completely depleted of torpedo bombers when we return. Is the game going to last that much longer? Absolutely not. But pretty much we're going to get one drop off, regardless of whether we had six planes or now three. I guess I only have five on the deck. Just ran into him. That'd be a cool one. Now, obviously, I wouldn't recommend attacking it, and we're just going to go ahead and go back to the ship. I wouldn't recommend attacking at that angle um, because obviously, it's if he's maneuvering at all, uh, it's hard to hit. But you can tell he was just flying his planes; he wasn't maneuvering uh, because there is no waypoint option. And per usual, the game is done. He just got torpedoed. Because carriers have no defense um, if they have a crappy team. GG. Well, let's go ahead and look at the ship, guys. Again, I'm, this is a, not a spectacular game or even an impressive game by any stretch of the imagination. I just wanted to get a video out there. Um, and we finished absolutely dead last in terms of XP, which is good. It highlights, you know, yeah. But again, let's take a look at the Ranger. Uh, the, it's the Ranger and the Ryoku. And per, you know, per history standards... Um, you have the stronger AP or HE bombers. Um, they did have AP bombs. Actually, most bombs were probably AP, but... The Douglas TBD Devastator. One squadron. 2,200 hit points. Pretty slow speed. Pretty decent top speed. We'll compare that to the Japanese. I don't think I have it unlocked yet. Attacks unit size to aircraft per squadron. I think they need to increase that a little bit, and I think that may be a little bit better. A total of maybe three and then nine. Uh, detectability, yeah. You can look at all those things. Then we've got the dive bombers. Um, SB2U Vindicators, pretty famous, I believe. 60% fire chance, uh, although maximum bomb damage is 13,800, which I find hard to believe. Um, but the, like we said, the American bombers, um, I, don't, I actually don't know if they're labeled HE bombers, but um, the, like, the, the bombs hurt a lot more than, than they do in Tier 3, which makes sense. They're a lot bigger. They, you know, As things went on, uh, started strapping bigger and bigger bombs to the ship but here's all the ship stats uh, the, i like the way the concealment is at this tier and again we're running a tier 3 camo uh just because i like the way it looks type 3 camo sorry but yeah this is the ranger at tier 5 the u.s aircraft carrier special construction ship carried a large air group carrier speed was quite high for her type her drawbacks include a lack of torpedo protection and impractical arrangement of aircraft elevators which slowed down the handling of air groups well Take what you can get, right? Pretty cool looking aircraft carrier. They definitely uh, you know, led this design on. I don't think I have the Ranger unlocked yet. Or the Ryoju, the Tier 5. But yeah, guys, that is a brief first look at the Ranger. <clears throat> the Tier 5 American carrier for the airstrike event. You only have... Man, I've got a frog in my throat. <clears throat> Excuse me. You only have one week to play these, so go ahead and get on it. I don't like this background. I wish there was an option to change it, but oh well.
It's also pretty, must have been tough landing these puppies on that. Look at that. <laughs> Put the smokestacks right there. Oh well, hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, nothing, you know, we're not trying to set any records here by any means. A run out. Peace.